there is no progress, there is no development without restriction. But this sense of comfort is not helpful when it comes to developing yourself. Learn to just do things which are not based on your own sense of comfort. Sometimes you are meeting situations that you have to face and that you have to go through. The more you're used or getting used to something, the more habits actually you are starting to develop. Definition of freedom, to do what you want at any time that you want. Just feel free without any type of restriction. I don't think this is the way how a human in this world is learning to grow. There is, derived from the ancient teachings, a saying, there is no progress, there is no development without restriction. And this means sometimes you need to have somebody telling you what you are supposed to do. Even if you feel like sleeping until like 10, 11 o'clock, well, it's not good to do. Learn to just do things which are not based on your own sense of comfort. But this sense of comfort is not helpful when it comes to developing yourself. Sometimes you are meeting situations that you have to face and that you have to go through. It's not just the physicality that is so interesting about this tradition, about these practices. It is especially the question, how does all this physicality, all this practicing of using the body, how does it eventually translate into your mindset, something that need to be and can be developed inside the human being. It is about figuring out what is the core of you as a human being that you can develop and then afterwards what you are doing with this core really doesn't matter. Along the way of creating something in this lifetime, there are some helpful human character traits or mindsets that I think they need development. The more you're used or getting used to something, the more habits actually you are starting to develop. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 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 Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We all do the same and it's easy for you. Right now, when you are facing the screen, you turn to the left. You all turn to the left. This is the position here. Now with the right leg, Take a step back yeah, from here. Take a step back. Turn the foot. And right now we are at the right bow and arrow stance, at the right gongbu. Okay, again. Feet together, knees together, squat down. Your right leg, step behind. Now we turn the body all the way to the right side. Left palm go out. Again, squat down, step out, turn the body, left palm out.
Okay, now I'm going to stand in the way for you to see my back. Maybe that is easier for you uh, to follow. Look, yeah. The right leg goes behind. One. Yeah. The weight right now is still on the left leg. It's still on the left leg. Now I turn the body. Now the weight is on the right leg. And at the same time, the left palm is out. One. Right leg, step out, turn around and left palm up. And again. Yeah, you're squatting down here. Right leg goes behind. Turn around the body and the left palm lift. Okay, yeah. in this position right now, the left palm is open. The right back fist is lying on the palm and at the knee level. Yeah, make sure you really have the knees together, the feet are together and you can feel, okay, there is some weight on your legs. Your left palm faces to the sky. So the knuckles of the left hand faces to the ground, the left palm faces upwards. The right palm or the right arm is here on the side. Okay, and one more time. One. Step out. Turn around, left palm out. Now we are in a gongbu in a bow and arrow stand. Stay, yeah, stand like this, stay. Which means the weight distribution is 60% on the front leg, 40 on the back leg. 60, 40, 30, uh, 70, 30, both of it is okay. The right fist is on your waist. The left palm is straight. And now from here, we are going to make a transition from this bow and arrow stance into a mabu. From here, look. Yeah. You are here. The left palm moves over the head. The left palm moves over the head. Your stance is a horse stance. And at the same time, the right palm push to the front. Okay, we're here. And then three things. First of all, you change your stance into a mabu. At the same time, the left palm moves above the head. Palms also facing outwards. And number three, the right palm has pushed to the front. One. And Go. Two. One. And go. Two. Then you go back. One. And go. Two. And one. And go. Two. And one. And two. One, 
and two. One and two. Now just into this small section of the form, the breathing. How are you breathing? Yes? So normally before yeah, this section, that movement right now is in the previous live session. That's why I didn't edit right now. But we are from up here, we are smashing down. So that's the exhalation. So from up here, normally we are on the exhalation. Exhale. Bam. This is exhalation. Then comes inhale. Exhale. Yeah. So from here it is. Inhale. Exhale. This is exhale. Step out. Turn around in. This is inhale, 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 inhale. Exhale. Okay. Now, if we just stay with those two movements, the bow and arrow stance and the marble. 